Hello there, cute stuff. Hey, boo. Hey. So, you are tuning in to Urgent Messages for the New Year here with me, the Divination Duchess. So, I was sitting here minding my own business, okay? I was about to retire, relax. And the spirit was saying, no, it's not time to relax, baby. It's time to bring a message here. There's urgent messages that, you know, y'all need to hear. So if you hear, I guarantee you there are some good messages here. They're going to be coming out for your new year ahead. It's collective, so remember, some of the messages may be for you, some may be for others. That is okay. We're going to start off here with the tarot and then crack into multiple other decks here. So let's get started. So we got a four of pentacles. All right, now we got a knight of pentacles. Mm. A ten of pentacles. All right, it's looking really good here financially. And a nine of wands. So first urgent message here for the new year is that the new year is bringing you a lot more stability in your life. I feel like this is materially, but mainly financially, okay? Because your financial world really is what um, brings together your material world. So for some of you, you're definitely increasing your finances. I would say for the most part, you definitely are, right? And this could be in one way or another. So whatever it is, you're taking charge and you're managing your finances wisely. You're managing your wife, your life wisely, right? So with this, it's like you're doing things that make you more money. It's just that simple. So whether this be going for a promotion, whether this be getting another job, whether this be really focusing on your business and growth, whether this be, you know, really just hustling and, and following your dreams, whatever it is that you're doing, you are manifesting a lot of financial abundance here for the new year. And so spirit wants you to know this so you can go in with that optimistic attitude, right? Being very motivated, being very pumped for what you are bringing. For some of you, you're definitely getting a house here in 2023 is what I'm getting as part of that material um, solid energy that you're going to be having in your life. There's really this sense of security. Yes, that's what I'm getting security. And with this nine of wands here, what I'm getting is in 2022, it was not as secure as you would like. It wasn't as secure as you thought it was going to be. You had a lot of plans for security. But what Spirit is saying here is all the plans that you have for security in 2022 that it just seemed like you barely missed the mark. Hey, baby, these are coming through in 23. All of your diligence, all of your hard work, all of your good planning, all of your progress, right? One step at a time, one day at a time, all of this progress has led you to a great abundance. So you're really going to feel like your life is overflowing here in 2023 when it comes to your material stability. Let's get another message here. Spirit is saying, be ready, be ready to receive, have your hands open. Yes, have your pocketbook open, have your pockets open, all that. Be ready to receive. Bank accounts open, baby. Okay, what else? Urgent messages for the new year. We got here a page of pentacles. There's a lot of pentacles going on here in the new year. A three of swords. What else is going on here? What's going on? A five of swords. Oh, yes. I see what's going on. And a nine of pentacles. Yes. So, again, what's happening is there's a lot of opportunity. This page of pentacles is, is like screaming opportunity. Okay. So, in your new year, Spirit wants you to know the opportunities are going to be almost endless, okay? There's going to be opportunity after opportunity. I'm hearing, like, especially in the first quarter, like, there's going to be some subsequent opportunities that are coming in, okay? Just, like, back to back to back. And it's almost, I'm hearing jackpot, like, you might feel like you went in the lottery because so much opportunity is overflowing here for you in the new year, okay? Um before there's been this sense of distress, heartbreak, like rainy days, we can see with this this three of swords, there's clouds, there's darkness, there's rain here in the five of swords, just feeling like, you know, you didn't get to walk away with the prize. But that's what I'm saying. Your prize is in the new year for sure. You're going to be feeling a lot more confident here with the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to be feeling very independent here. You're going to be feeling like you're on top of the world when it comes to this new year because everything is materially in line. I see it here. With, look, Mo Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, that's you really taking care of yourself. That's you really feeling abundant. This is you really feeling stable. 
really feeling like you can smile because you are the one that made sure your life was on point, okay? Because I feel like you've put a lot of time, energy, manifestation, effort into bringing this life about for yourself, all of this material stability, and it's going to really be working out in your favor. Tell us more here. Urgent messages for the new year. Yes, and this is what I was saying. You are focused on your goals. Goals are imperative to you. And it's like you're starting off like I'm getting, you know, when a horse race starting, it's like the gunfire goes off and the horse just come right out the gate. That's you like so swift. You get what I'm saying? It's like you just jump right out the gates. It's like you're renewed and refreshed here when it's time for the new year. New year. And so you get like a fast start for sure. But at the same time, I love this. It's like you're not taking it too serious. You're in a way where you're taking your manifestations as a game and not like as a game, like it's a joke. No, but as a game in like, this is where I find my goal, my, um, my happiness. This is where I can strategize. This is where I can problem solve. This is where I can figure things out. You get what I'm saying? This is where I can try, you know, a new trick that I figured out. It's like this energy here of you really being extremely focused. And what did I say? What did I say? Yes. 2023, you are manifesting your dreams. You are manifesting your greatest desires. You are going to be feeling so stable that it's almost like you're not even going to believe it. You're going to be like, this stability is for me because last year, you know, it wasn't as stable as I wanted. Or, you know, I had some disappointments for the past couple of years. But you know what? No, the stability is genuinely there for you in 2023 what other messages do we have for the collective urgent messages for the new year okay we got manara she who waits let's pull another one audaz she who resists and there's no um sex on this but it's just what it's called and then we got she who nurtures colette so in your new year we see you excuse me, being very patient. And what we see is that because you were patient in your previous year, you are reaping the rewards of that patience here in the new year, okay? And this is because why? You have been resistant. You have been strong. You have been fearless. You have pushed forward even when there's been brick walls, okay? You have ran forward even in the face of danger, okay? You have taken those bold leaps, and with that here, you are going to be reaping a reward. You're also very much an energy of nurturing yourself here. There's going to be this sense of you feeling like you truly love yourself and that you're truly honoring yourself and your desires by following through on these goals and following through on these manifestations. It's like you're not allowing yourself to settle for anything less than the best. Give us more here. Urgent messages for the new year for the collective. We got Radical Acceptance. We got Mastery. Yes, honey. Yes. And we got here Rebirth. Okay. So with this Radical Acceptance, there's been a lot of things here where you just felt like you've gotten the crappy end of the stick. And that's just that. Or you felt like things should have went in another direction. Things should have gone better. There's a lot of areas of, in your life where you didn't really have control. But as you step into this acceptance, what's happening is you are mastering this, okay? And you're going through a major rebirth. When you accept things as they are, what's happening is you are releasing that... Um, that kind of stuck energy towards, okay, I'm stuck on an outcome happening this specific way. Because what happens is when you try to control things and things can only happen one specific way, you lose your blessing, right? So you're worked on, you're working on accepting things as they are, allowing blessings to flow in, right? And this is part of your rebirth process because there was some resistance here over your past year, very much some resistance. And this comes from a place, though, of control, of wanting to maneuver and force and push and make things happen a specific type of way when really all you need to do is say, you know what, maybe I just need to sit back a minute, collect my thoughts, understand what's going on, and then move forward, right? So there's this great energy here of you no longer um, forcing things, over controlling things. So that way, a lot of these blessings are flowing in with ease. Tell us more here. Ooh, that flew right out. So it was meant to come. We got keep the faith. So you're very faithful in the year, which is helping things to really work for you. 
realizations and epiphanies. Your mind's going to be very clear here in the new year. Whatever you set forth to implement, what I'm hearing is that it's going to happen. And if it doesn't happen the way you want it to, some sort of realization or epiphany is going to come in. I'm hearing clearly that you're very protected here by your guides, your ancestors here, the angels. You're very protected here over the year. And you're going to have clarity of mind, okay? There's going to be this energy here of you receiving a lot of divine guidance, divine knowledge, divine awareness, understanding. And this is what's helping you overcome any type of ego, shadow, energy that gets in the way of your manifestation. So Spirit wants you to know here that everything that you need to step in for 2023 to bring your manifestations into light all the way down to the clarity of mind, the faith, the letting go of what's not working for you, the determination, right? All of that is leading to great rewards and great blessings. We got revealing your true self, balancing your energies, and one more. We got here purification and detoxification. Beautiful. So, in the new year, Spirit wants you to know here that it's going to be a year where you're just boldly showing up, okay? You're very confident. You're very aware of yourself. And you're not just aware, but you're loving yourself. You're accepting yourself. That's part of that radical acceptance, too. You are showing yourself unconditional love and acceptance, empathy, compassion, understanding, right? And as you are so gentle, loving, and caring with yourself, you're able to really shine for the world to see. And this could be, you know, if you are doing something where you're helping others, right? You're really going to shine. If this is with their, your loved ones, the people around you, you are going to shine, right? And this is because you are working from your true um, essence of you. It's also going to be a time of year where it's all about you balancing your energies. You're going to be very balanced in both your masculine and feminine energies, which we all have, right? So this means in your feminine energy, you're going to be very creative throughout the year. You're going to be very inspired throughout the year, okay? You're going to be really following your intuition, following your gut, taking those um, leaps and bounds, making those bold steps. I love that, okay? And then with your masculine energy, you're really going to be very much confident in your decision making, right? You're going to be very decisive. You're also going to be um, making moves that are very logical and make sense for your life. So with all of that, you're really going to be in the mode to be living a life that's like clear of a lot of the negativities that you've had in your previous year. You're not bringing it with you. You're leaving it behind. And so Spirit wants you to know it is going to be a year where you are feeling like your life has been very much purified and detoxified. Okay, it's like you're starting a whole new life. You're releasing energetic toxins. You're releasing anything that's holding you back. Whether this be a person, whether this be a place, whether this be a thing, whether this be an idea, a feeling, a doubt, right? You are leaving that behind because there's no room for it in your new year. Your new year is all about winning. It's all about success. And it's all about forward movement, creating that stability you want. And I'm seeing celebrations at the end of your year, okay, where... I'm seeing like, um, you know, when it's the Olympics and you get your awards at the end, you get your little medal. I'm seeing that like you're really going to feel extremely accomplished and rewarded based off of all of this energy that's happening for you in your new year. Yes, you are, baby. Yes, you are. That is it. I am sending you love, light and blessings. And until the next time, bye.